right, here's a full throttle 4S flyby. Ooh, it's fast. And it sounds good. Safe is off. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at those Oh, rings. my Whoa. gosh. <laughs> Let's turn wow. safe on for a second to get my bearings back down. <laughs> yeah, did you even know which way you were yeah, after that? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Can I knife edge on safe? Uh, yes, I can. Wow. wow look at that. This oh, will be a good airplane for you to practice I, knife edging. I was really hoping you would tell me this might be a good plane for me because yeah. I really want it. <laughs> I've decided to start a new trend. You have to match your RC plane. See the whole red, black, and white and the plaid? Nate, that doesn't match. <laughs> yeah, it does. Plaid. It's checkers. checkers. Plaid. It's close enough. No. Close enough. All right. Try whatever. again. Welcome to our channel where a little cringe goes a long way and as fun is all that matters. So if you're not okay with fun and the hobby, then you're not going to be okay with this video. I'm really excited. This airplane is the E-Flight Ultimate 3D biplane, and I've had it ready to go for a while now, but the weather's been so bad, I've just been waiting to maiden this thing. This will be a maiden flight video today, and I am just ridiculously excited. Trust me, we've had a, a handful of people say, you know what, you've had some really nice ground vehicles on the channel, but let's get some wings back in the air. I'm right there with you guys. I am so with you. Just needed a break in the weather. I can't believe how fast the snow melted, and here we are. The awesome thing about this airplane is that it will fly on 3S, or 4S, and you better believe I only brought 4S batteries here today with me. The other awesome thing is I woke up, I didn't expect to fly today. I looked outside, I said, whoa, it's not windy. So in a matter of the time it took to charge my batteries, I built this plane. Yeah, no glue required, couple screws, and it goes together very quickly. The main wing and the underwing are both held on with a little notch that you turn. It's a little lock key system. You turn 90 degrees, it unlocks, it's, it's a part, but it's so compact that it fits in the car in one piece with no issues. Most of the time, I have pre-flight nerves, called anxiety, call it adrenaline. Today, I can feel it, it is just adrenaline. So let's fly. Before we take off, I'd like to remind you guys that this plane is linked in the description box below. And if you want to pick one up for yourself at any time, just know that using that link helps support our channel. This content you're watching right now is 100% free, family friendly. We have morals on our channel that we stick to. And this 4K video that is free for you isn't free for us. So those links go a long way. I'm ready for takeoff. Safe is on. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was so silky smooth. I was expecting a bit more um, elevator and all control surfaces authority, but this is really, really nice. Wow. Oh, okay. All right, calm down. Let's get an actual flight in for you guys. Wow. So that is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. This blue sky and that red and white pattern. Wow. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, I, I have safe on because I haven't uh, flown in a little while and I just wanted to get a feel for the plane. Safe is here, so why not use it? A good friend and major supporter of our channel, one of our Patreon supporters, recently said, hey, uh, what is a good biplane that you'd recommend for me to pick up? I have, you know, a few airplanes under my belt, but nothing nothing major, I just really want a biplane that I can advance on. This is it right here. This is, I say, because of safe. I wouldn't recommend this be your very first airplane, but it could easily be a second or third airplane, or like us, up in the hundreds. So here we go. Let's get a fast flyby. I might just be landing here a second. We have someone just pull in. Just one second, guys. Here we go. There's a nice smooth landing. I just need to see who pulled up by us.
Oh, good. A quick yeah. landing, mate. Thank you. Sorry about the interruption there. Uh, just a nice neighbor, boy, and, and friend of the channel. Um, hey, yeah, that was a good way to show off a nice, like, emergency landing <laughs> on a first flight, right? So yeah. let's take off again a little faster this time. And I want to do a fast flyby on this next one. And then I think I'm going to kick safe off and really wake this plane up. Even on a maiden, I don't think I need to go uh, anymore on, on safe. I mean, I could do some knife edging on safe, but here we go. Here's a full throttle 4S flyby. Ooh, it's fast. And it sounds good. Safe is off. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at those Oh, rates. my Whoa. gosh. <laughs> Let's turn wow. safe on for a second to get my bearings back down. <laughs> yeah, did you even know which way you were after yeah, a that? Bit, a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I knife edge on safe? Uh, yes, I can. Wow. wow look at that. This will be a good oh airplane for you to practice. I, I was really hoping you would tell me this might be a good plane for me because yeah. I really want it. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but we might have a second one coming. And you know how I am with things that I like. Why do we have a second one coming? Because one might be for me and one might be for you. Oh, yeah. Awesome so that's together. that's how I'll, that's how this will become mine. You have to buy two. Uh -huh. Watch. Here we go. We're going to snap it. Just leaving safe off now. Leaving safe off. I'm landing high rates, obviously. <laughs> Get a feel for it. We still have AS3X. Roll it. That was just a, uh, wow. I need to, I, I have all my different, I have high, medium, and low rates in on the radio, and I'll talk about that at the end of this. Here we go. Wow. Went a little too far. We're gonna bring it back around. By far, I just mean on my roll. We're gonna snap it. You ready? Nope, I didn't think that would work for the camera, so I'm gonna keep it going. <laughs> I was ready. Okay, well, here we go. I just Did didn't say way. anything. I was focused. Wow. And I just kicked safe on to help me right there because we don't want to crash her. This is a maiden flight. This is insane. This is the plane that I've been needing in my life. Wow. So our little friend back there has an RC car he's playing. Yeah, I thought I heard an RC yeah. car. Yeah. Pretty cool. No wonder he whipped in. He saw us up here yeah, and he, they he ran over here. Be a part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my funny. goodness, Abby, this is so cool. I think it needs just a touch of trim. So I'm not being in, insane with it right now. I'm gonna actually just try to go ahead and trim it up a hair. Has a little bit of roll going on. And I think it needs a little bit of rudder trim out of there too and a little up elevator might as well do it all there that's gonna feel a little better i can't believe that this can actually here you go knife edge sloppily there and safe it got a you're really it's a high feeling. it's a different <laughs> feeling to knife edge in safe and not in safe obviously i'll try to do one going by over the runway here in safe whoa yeah sorry a little gust of wind down there yeah plus just new airplane jitters here okay so we roll it over and we get that rudder up and we can knife edge in safe i did a little climb with it but like i said it just takes a minute to get used to this is a fun airplane it flies very different in the wind too and the wind has picked up since i took off so i gotta keep up here we go I want to do with this. <laughs> Why don't you do some inverted? Wow, that was cool. Yeah, it should inverted, uh, should fly inverted really well. So I'm flying on a 4S 2200. I don't want to push my flight time too long. I'll put the nose into the wind and then we'll, I'll try an inverted pass, see how it flies upside down. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Taking a second here to just get used to the feeling of the biplane flight. There, upside down, no problem, no problem. And an outside loop. Let's bring it in. Let's do a, uh, what's this called? The Cuban? Eight. eight. Thank you. <laughs> I can no, I just call it the infinity sign. That's what it is. Or a sideways eight, Nathan. <laughs> now can we do, how does it climb and hover? Nice, nice, there we go. Oh, that's been a while since I've done that. That's gonna take a while to get used to again. I can hear the car back there. 
<laughs> we gotta hook him up with an RC. Okay, safe on because the wind kicked up and I'm pulling out of that. Sun's over there, I gotta be a little bit careful for Abby. Fast airplane, fun airplane. This is gonna get a lot of stick time this spring <laughs> and summer, I promise you guys that. Let's do a nice fast flyby again here. So you guys could see that wind. So you that, said safe will let you go that's completely telemetry. sideways for a knife edge? Yes. Really? Yep. But I it won't it. let you roll. Right, so here I'm all the okay. way over and then I, there you go, see I'm just holding yeah. rudder with aileron. That's maybe hard to explain. What the alarm you guys are hearing is the telemetry nice. on board. So the first time, I'll talk about that when I land because this is just too cool. Now I want to keep flying. I got a couple more passes I can do here before it's too low. It's going off only when I'm at full throttle. So look at this. He's got two RC cars, mate. His dad, I think, is over there too. Nice. So that's really cool. And let's go. This is a fun airplane. You you would really enjoy it. Now it's a lot different than like your Valiant or anything exactly like that. I love the way this one looks. It looks amazing. Yeah. And it flies great with safe. It really does. This could have gone one of two ways. Are you gonna land? Um, no voltage alarm going off. Is that yet. a rift? No. <laughs> Abby's too distracted <laughs> by the RC car back there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that roll rate. And to snap it really goes nuts. Wow, I like that. That's my alarm, so time to land. That's at zero throttle, it's going off. Now, there you go, see, just a little bit of throttle um, and the alarm will go off, but that's because the voltage just comes back down to a resting state. Let's try to get a nice smooth landing. Safe is on, but we're still in high rates. A little bounce, but you know what? That was really not bad considering how fast I came in. This plane is awesome. It would do extremely well on um, grass and obviously doing well on asphalt too. Beautiful, beautiful airplane guys, wow. Well, that was a little bit all over the place the way I was talking while flying and stuff but I think it's because I was just so excited this is a ridiculously fun airplane to fly it flies a little differently than things that I'm traditionally used to and so that's gonna be really fun for me for as long as it wants to live I will continue to fly this it's gonna be like not just an everyday flyer but a favorite thing to fly flyer the thing I was talking about uh, that I would tell you about when I landed is the fact that with my new radio, the NX6, now remember this thing can be updated via Wi-Fi, right? And it has other really cool things going for it too. This is the very first time that on my NX6 radio, instead of doing a traditional bind, a new model setup, I said bind to a bind and fly airplane within the list. So I went into the list, I found the ultimate 3D biplane, and then I bound it. What that does is put it, it puts in three flight modes already for you on the switch. It basically says, hey, I'm a pro. I've, uh, not me, the guys behind all this. They say, we're the pros, we know what's going on, and you can download our setup to your radio. I've never done that before. I usually just do the default setup, and then I make my own adjustments as I go. I like it. I don't like it. I like it. I don't like it. There's some things because I've been flying my way for you know a long time now. So when someone introduces some change and they put it in my radio their way, uh, it takes some getting used to, but it made it super easy. All my flight modes were there. I have high, medium, and low rates if I want them. Actually, it's separated. I have three different switches. I can have high ailerons and low rudder if I want to, or I can have medium elevator and low ailerons and high rudder. It might sound a little confusing, but it actually made it really easy. And if what I'm saying sounds confusing, don't worry about it. You don't have to do any of this. It's just an added bonus that you can do on this setup. Right out of the box, this radio with this airplane has telemetry. You bind it, you plug in your battery, you fly it, and then you get that beeping that you heard. And I knew I had a low battery and it was time to land. Absolutely amazing, the technology that exists 
in today's world that we get to take advantage of in this hobby. We're gonna have more content of this airplane on this channel, but if you need even more RC Sailor in your life, we have a shorts channel called the RC Sailors Shorts. We just hit 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane considering how young that channel is, but we'd love to see it hit 5,000 subscribers. If you wanna see some videos of airplanes where I do not talk the entire flight, that is over there. That is worth your time. They're short, fun videos. There's no fluff. It's all flight, it's all action, and it's all boom, boom, boom. So be sure to swing over there, check those videos out, leave some likes, leave some love while you're there, and uh, let's see if we can hit 5,000 subscribers. This plane, with my setup, is linked in the description box below. Everything from the plane, the transmitter, the battery, my charger that I use. If you wanna be just like me, old plaid Nate that needs a haircut, it's there. And know that if you use those links, it supports us, our family, and our channel so that we can keep this family-friendly content coming to you. And for all of that, for everything that just happened today, the heart's pumping like crazy, I'm so happy. The beautiful weather, all of this goodness in our lives, I thank the big guy upstairs. A massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too because we couldn't do this channel without you guys. You are the reason that we come out on a regular basis. You, you keep the cool stuff coming to the channel. The subscriber base is growing all the time because of our Patreon supporters. So if you wanna sign up and help support our channel the most direct way you possibly can, that link for our Patreon page is down in the description box below too. There's a theme to that, isn't there? Everything is down there. Everything you guys need to know is right in that description box. We will have another awesome RC plane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.